Hi guys, welcome back, or welcome, welcome, I guess, if it's your first time. Anyway, brand new channel, um, give it a listen, see what you think. You might want to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, you might want to delete it, I don't know, it's up to you. Why is the dollar like a potato? You probably know where I'm going with this. Holding a dollar, that dollar is inflationary, so it slowly rots like a potato. So, you know when you put potatoes in the, the cupboard or your pantry or wherever you have them, they, they last quite a while. They slowly rot. Your dollar is slowly rotting too. So putting your dollar in a bank is like putting your potato in, in the pantry. You may not notice it right away. You may forget about it. And then when you go to get it, it's sitting in a puddle of brown stuff and uh, it's squishy and you can't use it. That's kind of like the dollar in your savings account. Now you can dress up that dollar just like you can dress up a potato. You can put that dollar in what they'll call a competitive rate, uh, um, interest rate, competitive interest rate, which they consider competitive like 0 0.25. You know inflation is almost 10%, right? That's kind of like a baked potato that you dressed up a little bit. You're still going to either have to consume it or it's going to rot. It's not going to grow. Speaking of growing potatoes, I actually grow potatoes. And I, I use a stacking system, as, um, you know, so you can get more potatoes, more yield. And that's what you're looking for from your dollar is yield, right? Well, some of my potatoes, I, I have four separate containers and I stack these containers so they go higher and higher. Well, that's kind of like your dollar. You put it in separate things. You put it in um, stocks. You might put it in bonds. You'd be a fool if you did that right now. But cryptocurrency, um, gold, silver, precious metals, commodities. And when I do that with my potatoes, sometimes they thrive. They do really well. Every once in a while, and like right now, actually, literally right now, I have four separate um, potato stacking systems in the backyard. One completely died and one's on the verge of dying and the other two are absolutely thriving. That's kind of what you want to do with your dollar because at the end of the day, if at least some of them are thriving, I always have potatoes. Same thing with your dollar. Diversify your dollar and you'll always have dollars. Another reason the dollar is like a potato. So, as you can see, it's, it, this is basically just inflation, and um, I guess the point I'm trying to make is an asset versus a liability, and the dollar is not an asset. The dollar is to purchase assets. When you hear Ray Dalio saying cash is trash, I think he even said recently, buy anything, because the dollar is in danger of becoming worse than it is which is it's crap cash is trash so you you work to make money to make the dollars and do not spend all your dollars on potatoes you need to put it in something where it's going to hold its value if you believe in gold that's gold if you believe in silver that's silver if you believe in Bitcoin, that's Bitcoin. I personally am a, I have precious metals, but I'm really big on, on Bitcoin in particular. Um, and that's going to preserve your wealth, savings, whatever that is. So there you go. Basically, I'm, um, it's an analogy for assets versus liabilities. Like a potato, a dollar is a liability. It's not an asset. It is to purchase assets. So get rid of your potatoes. Basically what I'm saying is that every time you look in your wallet and you see cash in there, you should be seeing rotting potatoes. You get a stack of rotting potatoes in your wallet. So there you go. That's pretty cut, dry, simple. Get rid of your dollars. Invest. Invest in something you believe in. Um, you know, I have people that buy stocks that I know. I think those stocks are crap. But if they believe in it, it's their money. It's their freedom. That's what it, that's what it's about. So, my friends, 
Use your potatoes wisely. Because a dollar is a potato. Really quick at the end right here, just let me throw out there. It's a brand new channel. Struggling as usual. Subscribe if you're interested. Or just a thumbs up is absolutely fine. Or a comment that you hated it. I don't care. A comment helps because it doesn't matter what the actual comment says. It just helps the algorithm. Um, whatever you think you can do, it is much appreciated. Hey, my friends, spend those potatoes.